What's going on everyone, Avery Luther here. Hope you all are having a great day. Today, I'm going to be showing you what my routines look like on my rest days. Now, they're not really rest days for me. They're more of like active days that I get to work on things that I'm lacking on a little bit, or things that I really like to do that I enjoy, such as certain calisthenic exercises and stuff like that, and I get to work on perfecting them. So. There's also certain body parts, you know, that you can work on, like my left bicep is a little bit smaller than my right one. So today is a rest day and it's a good day. I'm, I'm not sore or anything, so it's a good day to work on little imperfections that you might have. So follow me to my home gym and uh, I'll show you guys around. So the first exercise I'm going to be practicing is the handstand push-up. Now as a natural athlete, this is an exercise that I think everyone should have in their back pocket. Not necessarily being able to do it without any assistance, but at least being able to do a handstand push-up. So first set didn't quite go as I planned. You know, I was a bit shaky. Usually I'm not that shaky. Granted, I am a little fatigued today. However, we're going to hop into a few more sets. I'm going to leave that in because ultimately not every set that we do is going to be great. We're going to be working on stabilizing. So I might do some just holding the handstand. Um, and yeah, let's hop into another set. So this is exactly why you should never base your performance off of one set because I hopped right back into this and did a very, very smooth three. Started off with my stabilization, got my balance down, banged out an easy three. So the next exercise that we are going to be doing is going to be scapula depressions. This is going to be great for building up your shoulder mobility and also loosening up your back and your traps. It also allows you to practice proper pull-up form because when a lot of people do their pull-ups, they start right here and they pull up using their arms, which believe it or not, isn't actually horrible when you're trying to just target your biceps because you can pull up like this, boom, and just absolutely crush the biceps. However, if you're trying to hit your back, that's not what you want to do. So. To do a proper pull-up, you have to depress your scapula right here, like that, and then do your pull-up. That way you're activating all your back muscles. So constantly practicing a scapula depression like that is overall just going to be very beneficial. And this is a better angle that you can see it from right here. A lot of people, when they're doing this exercise, you see them pulling in with their arms as they're pulling down with their scapula. And you don't want to do that. It should be all scapula completely straight armed. And that's really the majority of what I do outside of stretching on my rest days. I work on things that I find entertaining and that I find fun to do. And I also work on certain things such as the scapula depressions, which are just healthy for your body and healthy for your shoulders. So next time I go into a heavy shoulder day, you know, I'm overall more prepared for it and my muscles aren't going to be as shocked and I have less of a chance of getting injured. A lot of people don't stretch, especially in the gym nowadays, and I think it needs to be more of something that's touched upon stretching and cardio uh, as well, whether you're on a bulk or a cut. So Something that I would highly recommend for anybody who is either just starting in the gym or has been at the gym for a, you know, a really long time. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the love and support, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.